I'm here to show you how to create style sheets, uh, cascading style sheets, CSS. It allows you to format. And what I did here, uh, this is the home page, the default page here. And what I'm going to do, we want to put a style here. It shows heading one here. We have different things here. And if I just click on this here, heading one, I want to show you how to create a new one. I have a folder here called styles. We'll put that thing in here in a few minutes. New style. And I click on the drop down now. A lot of things you can do. I'm going to do a few of these. H1. And let's say I want to make the font. Make it larger. Extra large. I could go into um, a color. Use this. What I want to do here, I want to define this in a new style sheet. Okay. And if I say apply, it's going to say, do you want to attach this for the new style? Say yes. It's showing it instantly in here. I say okay. What it has over here is a new tab called Untitled One Cascading Style Sheet. You really don't have to pay a lot of attention to this. If you want to know the code, it might be good. But when I do a save, it wants to save this Untitled One Style Sheet. I'm going to go into here and just change and call this Styles. Make sure I have that dot, which I do. It's going to show in there. Now, let's say we want to do a few other things. Let's say we want to work with an indented paragraph. Uh, we click on New Style, Existing Style Sheet. And to do that one, we go to Block Quote. And what it is, we're going to make it indent, do a few things here. We could change the font in here, and let's say we want to use this one here. We want to make it small. Let's say we want to make it italic, and we could change the color in there. Let's say we want a lighter color. We go to more colors. We could check on a lighter gray. Sometimes people enjoy that. You want to put a background color on here. You don't want to make it too dark, but I could go to more colors. I could just click on this, and then I could customize it and make it a very light blue. Say OK. I could say Apply. I haven't put that style on here yet. Um, but if I were to edit it, you would see this. If I go into position, you could do a lot of things in here. Let's just keep it. Or let's say we want to put a border. We want a border going around here. It says same for all. I could say solid. And then I could say medium. And I say apply. I say okay. Watch this. I click inside here. I click on block quote. I have it indented. It already was. But let's say we want to make this breathe a little bit. I'm on the manage tab here. I right click in here. I say modify style. And what I want to do to give it breathing room, I'll pull this over and I could just say top type in 10 and we could have it points and let's say at the bottom you could do a lot of it says all around here let's just leave it at that and we'll say apply and you can see how it has more room around it if I go on to the margin I have the same for all let's say I want to make it 10 points and I say apply. You can see how it's putting more space 
in here. If I want to change other things in here, you've got layout, a lot, a lot of things you could do on your own. We're going to say apply, OK. Now the other thing too, I'm going to save this page again. As we save, it always wants to change that CSS page, okay? Let's say we want to change the default font, okay? We're going to go into here, New Style, and we click on the A. And to do this, we want the standard font, just let's say, to be dramatic, courier. And you might want to make it large. You might want to make it another color, like a dark purple. Say OK. Say Apply. Say OK. If I go into here, and I'm trying to change things here, that is the paragraph. And what it did, it did this on the useful links page. And if I don't want that in here, I would just say none. Sometimes it gets a little funky. And if I don't want like what I did here, I could right click, just delete it, go back. We've got that, okay? And I'm just going to save this again. What some people like doing, if you have a link, you don't want that bright blue. You want a different color. And when you hover the mouse over it, um, we're going to show you a few things here. So I'm going to say um, new style. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on a hover. And what it is here, when I hover the mouse on the website, it's going to change a color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep, make it bold. I want to make it red. And when I do the preview, it won't work. It has to go onto the internet. And if I don't want the underscore, I do like it personally. I say apply. I look over here. I'm going to say OK. And what I want to do, I'm going to save this page. And I'm going to preview it. Press the F12 key. We took it off on there. Okay. Go back to this. There's, you can always change things here. I'll just do this as one more thing here. I'll right click here. I just want to uh, modify it. I don't want that bright red. I could go into custom and I can make it a dark purple, a dark green. I say add to custom colors if I want to remember it. I say okay. I can put a background on it if I want to. Um, I could give it a gray. And if I want it to be lighter, click on that little gray. OK. Apply. OK. I save this. Modify it. You got to save if you're going to preview. Didn't put me the gray there. And the reason why, I had to refresh the page, pressing the F5, so you can do these things. Next, if I want to go into here, I go into the Useful Links page. I want the titles or the styles in here. I go over here. This could be a little tricky, okay? Um, I've had problems in the past. What I want to do is say attach style sheet. I browse. There it is. It's going on its current page. It's working. Now watch this. When I go back over here, useful links page, it has.
has that style applied there. Hope this works for you.